Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and Milwaukee Tools is no stranger to hammers. Here's a 22 ounce framing hammer. This is a heavily milled surface. I actually like my S-Wing better. I've had this for a long time, um, but don't use it as much, but kept it around. It's actually a pretty good solid hammer, well designed. But um, something I'm more excited about now is this hammer of Milwaukee's. This is their lineman hammer. Now, I'm a big fan of lineman pliers, and no, I'm not a lineman, but uh, I could still use these and appreciate them. But the lineman hammer, this is amazing. Uh, just a whole new direction in hammers. Um, I saw this shortly after it came out, saw pictures of it, and I decided that uh, that was a really useful, cool looking hammer. You know, I just loved it. But I couldn't figure out a use for it, so, you know, I didn't get one. Um, and the other day I was looking around on Amazon for it, and apparently there are, I've heard there aren't supposed to be uh, any authorized Milwaukee resellers on Amazon, but I think I've gotten stuff from Home Depot off of Amazon. But anyway, I digress. So anyway, they, these are shown on Amazon for two or three times the actual selling price. Um, I got this one through Home Depot for a little over 50 bucks, and it actually uh, it exceeds my expectations. The ones on Amazon, though, couldn't use the Milwaukee description. So they came up with other stuff, and one of the things they called it was a camping hammer. And I thought, wait a minute, you know, I, I carry around, you know, different hammers for camping. This is one here. This is a uh, MSR, Mountain Safety Research. It's kind of a tent stake hammer. Pound the stakes in there, pull them here. Open your beverages here. Uh, real lightweight, not very long. Um, but what I realized is that I, I have a truck hammer as well. The truck hammer is a wooden handled uh, large ball peen hammer. Um, and then I just got this that I've shown you before. This is my overlanding hammer. It's a short handled. Uh, this one's a 32 ounce. So these two have the same weight head. Um, but obviously this one's got a much longer handle here the Milwaukee does and I thought that's a good enough reason this is going to be my like outdoor hammer or you know the one that goes with me on on camping trips and stuff like that I can use it for you know adjusting things repairing things pounding nails um, I don't know I'll find uses for it but let me go over some of the features first um, it does have an unusual head you've got these two large faces this is a great big milled head it is rounded here. This is a smooth head. Okay, so smooth you often use when you are doing, you know, more sensitive or finishing work and you don't want to put a big waffle pattern into the wood when you're pounding nails. So, um, but the, the milled sticks to the nails a little bit better or whatever else you're pounding. Sometimes you're starting lag bolts or something. But it actually um, um, does a lot of, I don't know, not really damage uh, yeah, damage basically. So that's why you have a smooth hammer or smooth side as well. This can also be better for working metal if you got to adjust something, doesn't mash it up as much. Uh, what else do you have here? Well, this is a J uh, J hook remover. J hooks are like bent metal screws that are you know used for hanging uh, cables and stuff. Uh, they're also real similar to the steps we used to use when we um, built or put up tree uh, stands for our tree hunting. Um, so imagine you could use it for that. Uh, we do other things now, but uh, anyway, J-hook remover. It's got two staple removers on the top here, um, one for a, a nine gauge staple and one for a 10 and a half gauge staple. Um, you can see, I don't know, however they uh, secured the head to this thing. This is a kind of a reinforced fiberglass handle with a rubber overmold and a tether hole at the back. It's 15 inches long, which is um, a little on the, the kind of the the long side just thinking about it um you know obviously something like this this one here quite a bit longer this snap on um but this is a 56 ounce dead blow kind of a ball peen hammer but some of the others here move that one out of the way um are shorter you know here's a kind of a this is like a three pound head i think on this fiskers um but anyway yeah three so it's it's a pound more than this, but a considerably shorter handle. Um, I use this, this is kind of one of my favorite just mini sledge drilling hammers. 
Um, got to have one of these, although the handle is starting to get a little, little squishy. Um, but that's, you know, this is more, you know, just pure brutality, not, not a lot of precision there. This is a little bit more here, um, a little more with this S-wing, um, kind of using it as a, as a drilling hammer, but also you can, it's almost like a blacksmith's hammer, but I wouldn't use a plastic handle for that. But anyway, if you look at this, you can see also, and this is a two and a half pound versus a two pound, you can see the S-wing shorter. Fiskars is actually really short because you'd go up here to this point, so you can see, I mean, it's almost like four inches or something. Um, let me see, five inches almost. So uh, it's considerably shorter. So you get a really good swing weight or good reach. You know, if you're, I imagine for a lineman, you're in a bucket lift or something reaching out, um, trying to, I don't know, pull staples or something when, instead of moving the bucket. Um, it also has what they call overstrike protection right here. But if you look at the, you know, the direction, you don't have a, uh, a real big, um, big area there. You know, when you're coming in, if you, for an overstrike, um, if this deflects down here, there's just a little bit of this. This probably should have either gone down further or moved down. Um, others, like the Fiskars, has an overstrike protection here, but you can see, you know, if you missed here, you would be down into that area. Generally, if, when I overstrike, I don't barely overstrike. I don't just slide off a little bit. I usually miss pretty good. Um, when I think of overstrike protection, this is more what I think about in the Still Woodsman um, professional axe. This thing here, big steel collar. I have two of these. That's why this one looks like, you know, in such good condition. Um, the other one rides in my truck. Um, but anyway, that's what I think for overstrike. Pretty serious stuff. Anyway, I haven't found much uh, in the way of imagery or videos on these things. Um, maybe because people think it's too exclusive, but you know, you could say that about lineman pliers maybe. But this seems like an ideal hammer and I'm glad Milwaukee's exploring kind of the hammer space because it's, I think we're due for, you know, adding some good features, exploring materials and shapes. Um, you know, and it's reasonably priced. And it's kind of unique. The only other one that really, I mean, there are a couple of brands, you know, real serious uh, lineman electrician brands, but there's also S-Wing. S-Wing makes one. And it's kind of like, um, kind of like this on both sides. That's how, that's their lineman hammer. So I like that, you know, there's a choice and a long handle. So anyway, that's my new camp hammer. You know, and if I have to do some line work, sure, I'll take it with that as well. But anyway, there it is. The number on this guy is the 4822-9040. Um, and it's been out for, I think, about a year. But um, I've, I've had trouble finding any, any good information on it or seeing it in use. Um, sorry, you're not going to see it in use here either, I guess. Anyway, with that, Doc out.